Jack Andrews, winner of the second at Highton races today. On such a big meeting as well, the end of the year. Congratulations. How was it out there? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, very straightforward uh, for a horse that's never ran before. A four year old, he knew his job. Um, he went round very easily, jumped very well. And, and when I needed him late on to quicken up, he, he did it in very good style. So very pleased with him. Seemed to get too quick at the start. Two fell right at the start, didn't they? Yeah, quite often the case in these young horse maidens. They're very inexperienced horses. and. Um, normally the first is the hairiest one and then once you get over that you're, you're sort of warm into the race but yeah that, that's not uncommon in, in these sort of races. So stay out of trouble at the first and then uh, from there you can run your own race really? Yeah exactly I, I, I ride our horses like they're the best horses in every race you know and try and keep it straightforward simple and, and keep out of trouble and, and for that reason really. And you're quite comfortable really at the end if we're honest. Yeah it's... very easy um, he quickened up real well from the back of two out and I had a look round after the last and so I was miles clear and he just coasted home. So You had a lot more horse under you then? Oh yeah, yeah. he was still shying at the, the crossing after the winning line. He hadn't, he hadn't had to work overly hard. So, so what, what's the future for the horse? Um, all been well, you might get into the Aintree sale next week on Thursday. Um, well, this coming week on Thursday. So uh, it's a select sale for these select horses. So no, hopefully he'll go there and, and make plenty of money. Are you going to Aintree? I will be there on Thursday, yeah. Any yeah, tips? Uh, uh, <laughs> Don't back horses. <laughs> so yeah, um, no one in the Fox Hunters on Thursday. So looking forward to it. And what's it mean to be at Einton on its hundredth year? I mean, it's, it, I've never actually been here before. But what, a, what a track, really! It's um, we're spoiled to have a track like this, really. And for twenty, it's good enough for any national hunt course. So very good. And of course, without meetings like this, we wouldn't have the Grand National, we wouldn't have the horses making that grade, would we? Of course not. This is the grassroots of our sport, and we've got to protect it and look after it and keep it thriving. So. Well, good luck, Thirsty. Stay safe, stay on the horse, and uh, that's how we win. Thank you very much.